Well, we are the staging area right along the Driftwood River. We're about seven miles north of Columbus, and we are told that uh, Keegan Matlock supposedly launched about a half mile from here, and you can see just how bad the situation is here, how high the water is, how fast it's moving. And authorities say that's what's made search efforts today especially challenging. First responders from several departments helping in the search for 26-year-old Keegan Matlock. That's as his family anxiously awaited any word of his whereabouts. Wanting to pull together and go do something, and we've been telling them that as sweet and wonderful as that is, you know, we only want to look for one person <laughs> right now. Keegan was last seen kayaking down the flood-swollen Driftwood River late Wednesday morning, shortly after leaving his nearby home. Between 11:30 and 12:30 yesterday, uh, early afternoon. Um, a, a, a resident on the, the Driftwood River actually saw him coming down and, and called out to him wanting to know what he was doing and, and he had assured them that he would be fine. But given conditions, authorities fear he's not. The river is four and a half feet above flood stage. The obstacles floating down the river, the, the water speed, uh, the, the objects below the surface of the water, you just don't know. It's, it's unpredictable, it's dangerous. That's why they're not using boats in the search. They're using a state police helicopter and drones to look for Keegan. Following the river downstream, but as we found with so many flooded fields, so many roads closed, getting easy access to the river is challenging. But the drones do provide a bird's eye view. You're not just searching the river, you're also searching out into the fields uh, away from the river banks because, you know, someone very well could have floated beyond the river the way the waters have been up. With each passing hour, it gets harder, but Keegan's family continues to hold tight. We are a big family of faith, and um, we have a hope that, um, that this is going to end the way we want it to. And an obvious question, given the danger out there, why would anyone think about going kayaking? And I did ask Keegan's aunt that very question, and she said he's just someone who's daring, loves adventure, loves kayaking, loves the water, and probably overestimated the dangers here when he got into that kayak. And right now they are just hoping that he is somewhere along the river, clinging to a branch, waiting to be rescued. And Mary, before you go tonight, Keegan is also married also with a small child as well. Yes, I'm told he has a five-year-old daughter and another child on the way. So, again, lots of people hoping and praying right now that he's okay. Yes, we'll add our thoughts and prayers as well. Mary Mills reporting live tonight. Thank you.